What's up YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter here with another $500 quarter box hunt. I went ahead and took the liberty of getting this box open because I was curious if we'd be looking for exclusively W's with some uncirculated rolls or if we had circulated rolls today. So looks like we've got circulated so we could be finding silver, W's, errors, varieties, DDO's, DDR's, RPM's, you name it, they're probably in this box. So let's get into it. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, uh, I will post a link in the, in the description of the video for all the various things we're looking for today, just so you know. Um, I will do a recap at the end, and I will bring you in to each roll or uh, at each roll when I find something of interest. Uh, until then, I'm going to jump off camera and jump into these things. See you soon. So we we're on roll eight. I've already picked one up. It was a 2008 Alaska. Got it here under the scope. And as you can see, I'll zoom in here. We have that sixth claw. And sorry, but my my light causes that rippling on the computer screen. But uh, you can see it really well right there. Uh, these are less exciting if you saw my last video where we found a, a bazillion of these. But uh, still cool to find in circulated rolls. So here we are on roll nine, three quarters of the way through. I've already looked at it, but I'll show you guys. We have a 2000 and what is this? Five Kansas, get it here under the scope. We have a very light in God we rust error. It's not completely gone, but I think this technically qualifies. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Back to the hunt. Okay, well, we just wrapped up roll 15. I didn't want to bring you guys in. In those first 15 rolls, I didn't bring you in, but I did find one bicentennial. Uh, I may have already said that in another clip, but I can't remember. Just didn't want to forget about it. And I did find and roll, I think it was 11 and 13, and I just didn't bring you in because we'd already found one, but I'll show them off here. Two more sixth claw. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see it. Two more sixth claw uh, Alaska quarters. So that's the first one. And let's see if I can get this turned around. Come here. You can do it. There we go. There is yet another one. So, so far we've got sort of three, or let's see here, what do we have? We have four uh, finds. We've got one in God We Rust. We have our three uh, Alaska Sixth Claw. And of course we have that one Bicentennial. At this stage, these would all go back in the box based on my findings earlier this week, but they are finds. So I'll include them in the wrap up and put any value against them that I can find on eBay. Let's get into these rolls. Hopefully we'll find some silver. You know, that's one thing I didn't find in all of 2020. I'm hoping to find some silver in quarters this year. All right, let's get back to these rolls. So here we are, roll, uh, I think this is 16. I'm stopping here. I've already got it under the scope. We have a homestead right there. And I'm going to bring you over to the computer. We have some snow on the roof. I think normally you get snow on both sides. This one I've got maybe just a little speck over here on the end, but uh, I've got a ton. That's from like a die chip. I don't see a leaky bucket or any of the DDR markings, but I am fairly confident this would qualify as a snow on the roof. So we're gonna call it a find and get back to these quarters. We've got five rolls left and this has been a real weird hunt. Um, we do have four bicentennials. We have all of those six claw Alaska. There might have been one since I last brought you in. We still have that In God We Rust, Kansas, and one, uh, I think it's a, yeah, it was the Snowy Roof uh, error. So I'm going to get through these last five rolls. Hopefully we find something. We had lots of shiny coins, um, but a lot of it's been backdated stuff. 2007s, 8s, 2016s, 2018s. Um, so not a lot of 2019s and 20s for W opportunities, and there's been absolutely no silver. So... Let's hope these last five produce. If not, we'll just wrap it up and close it out. All right, well, we are on the last roll. We did not find anything else since I last brought you in. So we are just going to open this one and go through it together. And then we'll talk about some value. And then we will wrap it up. So let's see here. I'm just going to grab little batches of these at a time so I can get through them a little more quickly. I 
Idaho. Awful shape, no DDO. Tell you what, the, the Denver strikes that I get are absolutely spectacular. They all look like business strikes. Um, it's been really hard because I have to, to, a lot of times, double check them to make sure that they're not um, S-clad strikes. It just looks like it would be an S, but it's a D. So in Arizona, do we have a cactus? No, we do not. 80. It's a 65. We'll check that real quick for some DDO. DDR, no. All right, so last couple here. I know that one has a die crack on it that you can sometimes find. And that is it. So rather than recap all we found again, I, I'll start with the uh, bicentennials. These are not terribly collectible unless, or not terribly valuable unless you can find a DDO or find one in just mint state condition. So these are probably worth 50 cents, right? Not 50 cents, I'm sorry. These are worth about 25 cents. You might find somebody that will give you a little bit more for them, but trying to sell these on eBay, unless you're doing it by the roll and they're in fantastic condition, you're not gonna make a lot of money. Um, I'll see if I can find some stuff on eBay to refute that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I will uh, pause here. I'm gonna go look these up on eBay and I will bring you in and let you know what you can get for these in kind of circulated condition and in mint state, or I would say almost uncirculated or mint state condition, kind of like some of the ones I found in my last video. So for the Alaska sixth claw quarter, we're just gonna take a quick look at eBay. Um, I'm looking at sold listings only. And the thing that you need to look at is honestly, you got to look at more than one sale because you never know what you're going to get and you want to compare your coin to what other people are selling. This Alaska quarter typically though seems to go around $3. So another resource I use is this eBay fee and profit calculator. It's very helpful in understanding how much money you're going to make. So for fun, if we come in here and say $2.99, we're going to say free shipping our item cost us 25 cents, and we know at a minimum we can use a stamp to ship that. You can see right over here, your net profit on that quarter is gonna be about $1.15. Now, it's up to you to, to determine is it worth $1.15 to keep shipping these things out one at a time, or perhaps selling them as a, a roll. Um, the other thing you have to ask yourself is, is there something special about your coin that you might think you might get more than $3 for? If it's, you know, barely uncirculated, look at previous sales. Perhaps you can get 5 or $10 for that coin. The difference is that you may want to upgrade to track shipping, and that's going to move you sort of into the 350 category for shipping. You'll see you'll, you'll profit a lot more, but you're also eating a lot more costs in your shipping. So it's up to you. I've actually shipped stuff like this even at $0.55 cents and said, look, I'll eat it if there is a seller dispute or the post office loses the coin. So th there is good money to be made, but typically you are going to look more in this $2.99 range. So about a buck 15 a coin. For the Kansas In God We Rust, I will do the same. So we'll cut over to the computer and have a look at that. So where this gets interesting is the In God We Rust error. Uh, pricing seems to be all over the place for this coin. Um, here's one for 950. As you saw up here, this one's one that's missing the T and it has a, a DDO or a die break up there. So somebody got quite a bit of money for that. It doesn't show the, the final. Uh, here's somebody got 10. Here's somebody got 15. Again, condition matters. But uh, these seem to be all over the place. This one, it's missing some of the G and the T. So finding an average here is going to be difficult. Uh, here's somebody got 41, which is a lot. Here's This is more in line probably with the quarter we have at 495, except they also got 395 shipping. So let's plug this in. Sorry for the cut. I have notifications coming in. So this is probably the closest uh, that we have to matching the quarter that we found. 
Um, so what are we seeing here? 495 and 395. Let's call that 5 and 4 to make it 9. So our cost was 25 cents. Let's say, again, we ship for 55 cents. However, our closing price was 5 and we charged 4 for shipping. We would make $6.39 on that quarter. So this is something that you want to find a lot of in rinse and repeat. And the same thing for these homesteads. So we'll cut that in right here. So the next coin we want to look at is the Homestead Snow on the Roof quarter. And there's a lot of variability if you go on eBay and look in the prices people are getting. So here somebody got $10, $1.89, $3, $3, $2. Here's somebody that got $20. Um, here's somebody that only got a dollar. So I think some of this is how do you position your listing and how unique is your snow on the roof. Looking through this, I would say typically you're going to look to get between 2 and $3 for your coin. That said, that's up to you to determine what you think you can get for it. But in general, let's say we can get 3 just like on the last coin. We're going to end up with about the same uh, money there. Now, if you get lucky like that other guy and you sell it for $20, you've made a pretty hefty profit on a snow on the roof homestead quarter. In general, I think this is an outlier and not the norm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've made it all the way to the end. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and smash that bell and select all so that you get notified every time I uh, post a new video. I'm glad you came. Thanks for coming, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.